Hello everybody and welcome to Romanceville's Tarot. I'm about to begin here with a reading. Now this is a reading for the 26th of August 2020 and it's a reading for the sign of Libra. That being said, this is a general reading so it's not going to resonate with everybody so please do take whatever resonates with you, whatever you're comfortable with and just leave the rest of it aside. If ever you do have any questions and you would like to have your own personal reading, you're searching for, you know, some guidance, some answers, please contact me at romancefultarot at gmail.com. You can also contact me and find all the information regarding a private reading into the YouTube Dropbox. Everything is in there. So, that being said, if you do enjoy my channel and you have not yet subscribed, please do take a brief moment to click the subscribe button to show your, your support to the channel and to myself, and I do thank you in advance very, very much. Um, so with no further ado, let's begin this reading. Uh, what we want to know here is what is the future of this relationship? I don't want to go all the way out. It's too far. Too many things can change. I want to know right now what is going on. Should you stay into this relationship or is it just going nowhere? So this is what we're going to try and find out. So let's just turn these cards over. I have believe and succeed. I have observe, strengthening bonds. I have a clover. I have the house and I have the key. Okay, so I do have to say here to begin with that, yes, there are some challenges, but all things taken into, con in, into consideration, I'm sorry, yes, you should stay into this relationship. I'm going to begin with the Observe card because I do feel that it is the main card into this reading. It does have a few points that are interesting, such as release surrender, reconsider, patience. It's all about cycles, okay? And it's about perspectives also because it's observing. So this is really about a new understanding around matters of the heart is just really waiting to be revealed to you. So what you need to do is you need to be still and you need to be patient. Now is simply not the time, as a card says, observe. It's just not the time to do any action whatsoever. You need to take a step back and you just need to wait a little bit. You need to reflect upon the relationship or even the issue at hand, what is going on, what is happening. You need to release the need or desire to direct the relationship. You need to let things just go, go with the flow, okay? You need to go with the course of events. And when you surrender to the experience, you're gonna learn really a great deal and you're going to actually learn what it is that you truly need, somewhat like, I could I could put this card also with like meditation, okay, uh, soul searching. So sometimes when you um, sometimes when you're releasing like that, in a releasing that you discover what it is that you truly do need, as opposed to what you think that you do need, which is not the same thing here. So you need to trust the process. You need to have faith into the whole journey that is here, and you need to let go of the outcome. Okay, so although it may seem like the process is slow, it is very, very important and you must have much patience for this. So really, I need you to wait till you get the information, when you get the information from your partner of, you know, what's going on. And, and it's, I'm not even going to discuss about it because it's little, little things from here and there. Okay, nothing big. And so whenever you do receive that information, then that's what you're, you can start then you know, figuring out what to do with it. But don't stress about it. Don't do any anxiety. Just observe, wait, do some soul searching, make sure what it is that you want out of the relationship also. And you know what, if you do have, you know, um, if you do believe into the relationship, I do believe that you can succeed easily, but both of you must believe, of course, at the end of this uh, this boat here, we can see there's the tower, and the tower is the tower of light, and the light is what? The light of guidance. This is guide. It guides the boats to know exactly where to go, and this is the exact same thing. So you're just waiting, really, is what you're doing. You're observing. You're waiting for that moment to go forward for your success, but right now, what you really need to do is to believe in yourself self, believe in your partner and believe into the relationship combined together. So even when there are some bad times, we all have them. You must, um, you must believe that you must, must, must believe. Okay. Don't ever forget that. Um, I do have over here a card that is telling me that you have the key. Okay. You're the one who has the key to the problem right here. The solution, you're the one who has the key to it. This is the key. You, you got the rose into the cage there. You're the one who has 
has it. So the key can lock or it can unlock a door. So you have the means and you have the answers to solve this. It's kind of like a little enigma if you want here, okay? So this is really about whatever your partner is going to be telling you here, okay? Whatever you're going to have to deal with, you're the one who's going to have the solution to it. You're the one who's going to decide what you're going to do with that information. Um, I do feel as though you are throughout the whole process here you are going to have uh, more bonds the bonds are going to strengthen they're going to become stronger because of this uh, of this situation that is going to be coming to you the little challenges you're just going to become stronger it's going to become better it's going to become a better relationship there's happiness there's luck there's a house there's security there's home pretty much everything that you would like into a relationship so you know really quite frankly nothing traumatizing into this reading here I see really pretty much nothing but good the rest is mundane things it's things that happen all the time so um you know believe in yourself believe in your relationship make sure of what it is that you want out of the relationship though and what your partner wants so you both go into the same direction and if you do that you're going for the gold so um, this is your reading. So this is a definite yes, stay in this relationship. If you do have any questions or you'd like a reading, um, please contact me, romancefultero at gmail.com. Please remember, it's a general reading. It might not apply to you. Please don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And I thank you so very much for being there. And uh, thank you for your support. And I'll be seeing you soon. Have a great day.